right, so it's Sunday. Every Sunday, I take boxing lessons. So I'm gonna go box. Boxing is something that I took up during the pandemic, 2020, mid 2020. I started boxing. It was the first time in my life I'd ever um, taken any kind of like martial art training, and uh, and I've really I've stuck with it. I really enjoy it. It's an amazing mental workout, and the hand-eye coordination aspect of boxing is like it's really it's a really fun challenge. I get so sweaty. It's like an amazing cardiovascular workout using your the entirety of your body. So we're, right now we're heading to, we're in West Hollywood, we're heading to this really beautiful park and uh, we're gonna meet up with my trainer, Minju. And um, we're gonna throw some, throw some punches around. We're gonna look for parking, this is always kind of annoying. Slow your roll, it's Sunday, buddy. Oh, I think I might fit there. No, oh, this Lincoln's taking it. Are you guys pulling out by any chance? The other parking lot is full. It's open. There's so many parking spaces. Wait, where's side. the other parking lot? Oh, you don't know? No. I can't tell you about it then. I'm <laughs> going to charge you. <laughs> yeah, right here. Even a blind squirrel catches a nut sometimes. We made it. Got a spot. So I've been training with Minju for over a year at this point. How am I doing, Minju? Good, good. Getting better. Getting better. Getting better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we typically, we warm up with shadow boxing, right? Oh, yeah, that's right, shadow boxing, yep. All right. My primary concern when I'm doing this is, do I look like I know what I'm doing? <laughs> like the, when I first started doing these, the backs of my shoulders would get so sore because you've got to like throw the punch and retract your arm. And you don't typically do that when you're hitting against something like a mitt. So, yeah, it's an incredible shoulder workout. Why do we do the left hand first? It's just superstition, kind of. It's kinda. a superstition. Yeah, yeah, but it works. Like, actual, like when you go to actual fights, um, you get nervous, right? Your atmosphere is different. And then you do, if you do that, you kind of feel, remember that the sense of normality, you know what I mean? Interesting. So it calms you down. And then that's a good thing. Calm, wow. calm down is a good thing. Yeah. yeah. I hate those. Whew. I was like when I hear that Minju's out of breath, makes me feel good. This is how it feels being on social media. Always getting hit. So in my water, in my water I have uh, BCAAs, branched chain amino acids, a little bit of electrolytes, and also baking soda. There's some studies that show that baking soda can improve uh, high intensity, like interval performance. Like when you're doing HIT training, a little bit of baking soda in the water. It's the secret sauce. All right, now we do Minju's killer ab circuit. Oh, as if boxing wasn't core intensive enough, you know? All right, ready? Yep. I like asking if Minju's ready. Are we done yet? Woo. Thank you. Woo. Great workout. Boxing has made the biggest impact on my low back pain, I think, because of how core intensive it is. Like, it's just like your core gets so strong boxing because of all the twisting and bending and and then they do these like, you know, all boxing trainers like put you through an ab circuit 
Minju's is particularly tough, but it just helps with low back pain. It's been really great. Thanks for boxing with me. That was a good time. I'm sweaty AF. Gonna go get a bite to eat now. It's about 12.30. I'm fasted, so I wanna go get some protein, some carbs, some healthy fats. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, you're gonna love this conversation that I had. What about chronologic age versus biologic age? We can talk about telomeres and, you know, uh, Horvath clocks and things like that. So that's the other part of it, whereas people that focus on looking at their labs, you know, maybe start fasting, things like that, they're not only improving their body composition, but they're improving their health, which would reduce risk of disease or optimize their brain functioning, things like that.